Well, hello, everybody that does gigs or receives orders from gig people. As you can see, I changed my name to Gig Girl. Pearls of Wisdom. Why give Instacart some credit where credit is never, ever due, right? What is going on with them? Oh, my gosh. I'm having... I think this is the... Camillion, chameleon, strong, small batch, roast, it's delish. Mm-hmm. So I've been up food prepping and getting ready, and and somebody commented that I should change my name, or actually personally emailed me and said I should change it to Giggles. <laughs> um, my name. And I've thought of Gig Girl for a while, Pearls of Wisdom still, because Pearl's my last name, my favorite jewelry, I wear my necklace. So I thought I'd keep it Gig Girl, Pearls of Wisdom, because it's all the gig wor work, isn't it? And so, yeah, Instacart, you can, you can go to the bottom of the list of anything that I like. I, I'm just so disgusted with them. I did two the other day, and I got to one door in this strapping young, handsome, which has nothing to do with it, man, answered the door. And he said, I don't know what you're doing, but you are the best Instacart shopper we've ever had. So don't stop. And that was my, that was my perfect opportunity to say, well, a nice five-star rating put on my app would be great. But I didn't say anything because I figured he might do it anyway, but he didn't. And so that was nice, just getting validated. And I, I, I took the praise away from me. I said, well, it was nice to shop in a store that had inventory. And he goes, oh, they don't always. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. And I did another one. And she said, uh, she tapped, she tipped in the app. She tapped in the IP. She <laughs> tipped in the app. And then she said, it looks like it might rain. Can you put it under the umbrella on the patio? And I said, sure. I've been there before. And she said, and there's a little something for you there. And it was a 10 spot. So it's like, wow, two nice validating um, Instacart things. And then I got called in to do some cashiering at Shaw's. So I turned off the app and I went in. And, um, and so I woke up yesterday to a lower rating, 4.91. I still have three stars from hell that I just can't get rid of. They're like barnacles on the bottom of a boat. And I guess as five stars drop off, because they never they never stop dropping off, right? You just you just have have them and lose them, you know. But the four star remains. I, I just hate Instacart so much. I hate them, hate them, hate them. And so as I'm a cashier and people are complaining about the crowds and the lines and the, you know, summer and everything else, I point over to the dugout. At Shaw's, and I said, do the in-store shopper. It costs nothing. You get all the sales. And we bring the stuff out to you. I made $20 in tips the other day for bringing out a cart full of groceries twice. Uh, three times, actually. Two, two fives and one ten. And I got paid by the store to do the in-store shopping. 20 bucks on top of it. It's the easiest $20 tip I've ever had. And, you know, they're not going to, like, rate me. They're not going to say, you know, she got Belgosio instead of, what's the other cheese? I don't know, the other mozzarella Casio or something like that. You know, it's just picky, snarky customers that just don't understand food chain supply. They're still in la-la land. And think that every, just because it's on the app, it'll be there. It's not. Trust me. These stores, I had two in-store shopping days in a row last week like I have this week. I go in today at 6 and a.m. And um, the cat food is decimated, you know. So I, I two days in a row, I get these owners of cats that are very, very picky and they want a certain flavor, no substitutions. I mean, it's nice that you have your little precious fur line. I have, I have two male cats, and they eat what I give them. They, they, they know that the other person is going to come over to that dish if they leave it. So I don't have any problems with clean plate, cup, 
club members for my kitty cats. But these other people must have these, like, cats that they just, you know, allow them to take a sniff, and turn up their nose and go away, and they're trying another can of cat food for $1.25 to see if they like it. And the things don't exist. They aren't there. When the shelf is clean, you know, and as an in-store shopper, I can't take pictures and say, trust me, there, there's nothing there. But if I was an Instacart shopper for this person, I would say, I would send them pictures of the shelf and saying, you know, what would you like? This is what's here. You know, there's two Lil Soups and there's four Friskies and there's a couple of bags of Meow Mix. That's, that's all. I mean, this stuff flies off the shelves. And if you don't have a grocery clerk that's replenishing it or, the, like I said, the supply chain isn't bringing it in on the truck, there's nothing we can do, but we know that, like, punish the Instacart shopper by all means because, you know, it it is their fault. <laughs> it's like no good deed goes unpunished. And, you know, if you're a customer, you have to know how much time we waste perseverating on, like, am I going to get them the substitute and risk a lower rating or am I not going to get them the substitute slash replacement slash alternative and get a lower rating? We are damned if we do and damned if we don't. That's the nature of Instacart. And they turn us into these like abused hostages that are just trying to please people that can't be pleased. It's, it's just, just, just so frustrating. And, you know, I know that people are weary. I can tell I'm cashiering, I'm doing in-store shopping, and I'm reading the comments from all of you. You know, it's Instacart is giving us, where are they, right? Are people wising up or are they just shopping on their own? You know, will we have a whole new thing coming on? Is the mask mandate coming back? Is, is you know, is the pandemic coming back where they'll be locked up in their houses again and we'll, you know, we'll get a little spike in Instacart opportunity? I don't know. But right now, it's just not a fun time out there. Shoppers are weary. Grocery cashiers are weary. In-store stocking people are non-existent or overworked. And then the supply chain, the stuff isn't there. And, you know, it, it's like, how can, we, how can we get to these people? I heard DoorDash, as I record this, it hasn't happened yet, but I hear DoorDash talking about a nationwide strike just to get the, you know, people's attention. You know, the ones that make six figures, you know, the ones that have, you know, money, 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 comma, money, 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 comma, before the decimal point. You know, those people that have never done a gig sort of job in their life, they just somehow got there because of management, you know, degrees or something like that. And they sit there you know, in their ivory tower, as I talk about all the time, with the fog, right? And they come up with new ways to, like, just make us crazy. And so we are crazy. I know that I am. I feel blessed for my in-store job and my cashiering cushion because there's just nothing with Instacart. You know, I love point pickup. I did DoorDash a couple of times last week. But it's just crazy out there. There's just not a lot to choose from. And you can't do Uber Eats and DoorDash in bumper to bumper traffic where it takes you 20 minutes to get to the store to pick up the $3 order to deliver it to the person that takes another 17 minutes only to like, you know, wait for, an we all know what's going on out there and it's not fun and it's not pretty. So what did I, what did I do? I changed my name, Gig Girl Pearls of Wisdom and that's my fun for the day. I hope you have a great day and I hope you stay motivated. Although this wasn't a very encouraging motivational video, was it? It was just a, a rant, a vent, a vomit. That's what we do sometimes. That's what this channel is all about. The emotions surrounding this, the relentless, the relentless punishment of the gig world. And we love it. And somebody put in and comments that gig workers aren't quitters. No, we aren't. We love what we do and we just hope for the turnaround, right? It's like those that believe in the stock market. You know, you wait for that turnaround. Those that believe in 
I don't know, having faith in something, you know, and it's like you, you begin to question, you know, is there such a thing until the turnaround happens? And then you go, yes, there it is. I guess I was just supposed to learn more lessons. How many more lessons do we have to learn as gig workers, right? Oh, just give us a little breath of like assurance that we're doing the right thing. We really love doing what we do. We love our skill set. We don't need any more lessons from the purgatory of the rating system. I went down again. I can't believe it. 4.91. And what have I done? Like two, two Instacart trips this week. I mean, you know, and it's like both were praiseful. One in words and one in a, in a $10 tip. It's just crazy. I don't know. I can't figure it out. That's why I'm here. Hope you're... Yep, you're here because you're frustrated too. I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.